Hello and welcome back to this channel. Dear students, this topic is phase locked loop that is PLL. It is basically a closed loop system because look at the diagram. This is the output where I have written V0, H0. This output signal is fed back. This is the fed back path. It is fed back at the input side. So it is a closed loop system in which input frequency and phase are locked with output frequency and phase. Now there are four major blocks as shown in this diagram. First is phase detector or comparator. As the name indicates, this block compares the output signal that is output uh, frequency with input frequency. So this is the phase detector or comparator. Output of this block is denoted by VE. It is also called error signal. This output is given to LPF, low pass filter. As the name indicates, it passes lower frequencies and blocks higher frequencies. Next is error amplifier. This is error voltage. After passing through low pass filter, it is given to error amplifier. This is an amplifier designed using operational amplifier op-amp. Its output is denoted by VC. As the name indicates, it amplifies error signal. Last important block is VCO that is voltage controlled oscillator. As the name indicates, the oscillation means output frequency is changing with respect to the voltage VC which is applied at input of this device. Now this is the feedback path and the signal is sent back at the input side. Initially, whenever input signal is not applied, that means input frequency is zero, then in that case, this VCO that is voltage controlled oscillator will oscillate with its natural frequency that is natural frequency of oscillation and it is taken as a feedback. When you apply this, this particular condition, whenever input signal is not applied, it is called free running mode of PLL. Now when input is applied, initially this frequency and phase will be compared with this uh, free running frequency of uh, VCO and accordingly phase detector or comparator will produce output signal. Basically it is comparator but it generates two signals. One is some signal that is F in plus F0. Another is different signal that is F in minus F0. This is some signal that is addition of input and output frequencies. Different signal subtraction of output frequency from input uh, frequency. This corresponding uh, output is denoted by VE. It is applied to low pass filter. As I said, it passes only lower frequencies. That means only this frequency F in minus F0, which is a lower frequency will be passed to the error amplifier. Now error amplifier will amplify this signal and accordingly the corresponding voltage is generated which is used to drive or adjust oscillations of voltage controlled oscillator which is VCO. This particular case in which you have applied input and the comparison is done accordingly uh, some voltage is generated and the VCO starts oscillating I mean it will start to capture the input frequency, this particular mode is called capture mode. This process will continue, oscillator will start continuing oscillations till it reaches the value, till the output frequency reaches or becomes equal to the input frequency. When this happens, this particular condition is called lock wrench. So I have uh, summarized the things. First is before application of input signal, it is called free running mode of PLL. When input is applied, frequency of VCO starts changing. That means VCO starts capturing the input frequency. This is called capture mode. When Fn becomes equals to F0, this is called lock range. So this is about the block diagram of PLL. Now let us discuss few important terms or few important parameters related to PLL. From exam point of view, we may expect the definitions of these parameters. We have studied the block diagram of PLL. So we have discussed uh, the things related to free running mode, then capture mode, lock uh, range, lock mode and so on. So first we will talk about free running frequency. It is uh, the frequency at which VCO that is voltage controlled oscillator 
runs when it is not locked with input frequency. मतलब लॉक होने से पहले जो वीसीओ का आउटपुट फ्रीक्वेंसी है दैट इज फ्री रनिंग फ्रीक्वेंसी इट इज द सेंटर फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ पी एल एल नेक्स्ट इज कैप्चर रेंज इट इंडिकेट्स रेंज ऑफ फ्रीक्वेंसी ओवर विच पी एल एल कैन एक्वायर लॉक विथ इनपुट सिग्नल नेक्स्ट इज लॉक रेंज सो इट इज रेंज ऑफ फ्रीक्वेंसी ओवर विच पी एल एल कैन मेंटेन a phase lock with input signal that means output is phase locked with the input uh, frequency so that particular range of frequencies is called lock range next pull in time it is basically the total time required for pll to establish phase lock between output and input frequencies so these are few important parameters related to pll the next part is pll using ic any or se 565 exam point of view se agar question aise aata hai ki draw the block diagram and explain uh, the functioning of pll using ic then and then only you need to explain this block schematic we have already studied the generalized block diagram of uh, pll so this is the block diagram related to pll ic 565 we already studied the functioning of phase detector amplifier and vco that is voltage controlled oscillator here pin number 2 and pin number 3 are used as input pins if these pins are grounded that means if we are not applying any input then output of vco that is voltage controlled oscillator will be free running frequency that is denoted by f out This is the formula to calculate F out, which is one point two upon four R one C one. This register R one and C one are used to adjust the free running frequency. Usually, the value of R one is between two k to twenty kilo ohms, whereas value of C one can be variable. So, as I said, by making use of these components R one and C one, we can adjust the free running frequency, that is F out. then from pin number 7 you are getting demodulated output pin number 6 produces reference output this register 3.6 kilo ohm which is connected at the output of amplifier and uh, to pin number 7 this register and capacitor c2 forms low pass filter at pin number 10 we are applying plus v volt at pin number 1 we are applying minus v volt now the lock range is given by fl which is equals to plus minus 8 f out upon v where v is the supply voltage capture range is given by this formula fc is plus minus square root of fl upon 2 pi into 3.6 into 10 raised to 3 into c2 c2 is this capacitor so this is about the functioning of block diagram of the ic any or ac 565 now let us solve few numericals to get the concept more clear the given question is calculate output frequency f0 or f out lock range delta fn capture range delta fc of pll if rt is 1 kilo ohm ct is 0.1 microfarad now while reading the numerical itself be a habit of writing the given values in terms of notation यहाँ पे नोटेशन थोड़े चेंज है ये आर टी मीन सेम एज रेजिस्टेंस आर वन विच इज वन किलो ओहम दैट इज वन थाउजेंड ओहम देन दिस कैपेसिटर इज डिनोटेड बाय सी टी एक्चुअली इन अवर डायग्राम वी हैव डिस्कस दिस इज डिनोटेड बाय सी वन सो सी वन इज पॉइंट वन माइक्रो फैरेड वी नो दैट इफ वैल्यू ऑफ कैपेसिटर्स इज गिवन इन माइक्रो फैरेड वी नीड टू मल्टीप्लाई इट विथ टेन रेस टू माइनस सिक्स टू कन्वर्ट इट इन टू फैरेड then filter capacitor which is given as 1 micro farad this filter capacitor means we have studied in block diagram it is the capacitor uh, uh, and resistance of 3.6 forms a uh, low pass filter internal resistance is 3.6 kilo ohm which is given and supply voltage is plus minus 10 volt so first part we will calculate free running frequency this is very simple numerical Uh, if you know this formula, you can well attempt this numerical. So first part is F out. We have a ready-made formula to calculate output frequency. 
it is 1.2 upon 4 r1 c1 simply put the values 1.2 upon 4 value of r1 is 1 kilo ohm that is 1000 ohm into c1 value of c1 is 0.1 microfarad that is 0.1 into 10 raise to minus 6 so if you solve this then value of effort will be 3000 hertz that is 3 kilo hertz you can well write the answer in terms of hertz no issues so effort will be 3 kilohertz next lock range this is first part next lock range fl is equals to plus minus 8 look at the formula plus minus 8 effort upon v so effort is 3000 that is 3 kilohertz so 3000 upon v is the supply voltage that is 10 therefore value of fl will be plus minus 1.2 kilohertz what does this mean it is plus minus means it will be 3 minus 1.2 and 3 plus 1.2 this will be the range of log frequency so log range will be yahan pe main likhta hu log range will be 3 plus 1.2 3 plus 1.2 2 3 minus 1.2 this will be the lock range in terms of kilohertz third part we have to cap calculate capture range it is plus minus under root of this third formula fl fl is 1.2 kilohertz that is 1.2 into 10 raise to 3 hertz then 2 pi into 3.6 2 pi into 3.6 into 10 raise to 3 into value of c2 now value of c2 means value of filter capacitor so c2 is 1 microfarad this is the value of c2 so it is 1 microfarad that means 1 into 10 raise to 6 farad so if you solve this you will get the answer of capture range that is equals to plus minus 230.32 hertz again range will be this is output frequency that is 3 kilohertz 3 kilohertz means 3000 hertz plus 230.32 to 3000 minus 230.32 hertz so this is the capture range so this is the way to solve the numericals related to PLL using IC, any or AC 565. So dear students, that's it for today's session. So thank you. Thanks a lot for watching this video.